Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about how leadership and napkins are related. Are you ready? Let's get started. A napkin? Really? Uh, you might not know, but if you've not been here for long or been here before, you may not know that we have recurring series where people issue me challenges by saying, Kevin, how is X like leadership? And Rebecca Netsley said, Kevin, how are leadership and napkins related? Hence this episode, and hence I'm gonna be sending Rebecca one of our journals. Now, if you go into the comments when we're done, if you like this idea and you wanna issue a challenge my way, and if we take your challenge, we'll send you a journal too. Now, you can either decide at the end of this whether this was good or bad, either way you can blame or thank Rebecca, right? So let's talk about napkins and leadership. First, napkins, one of the things we do with napkins is that we put them out so that we can protect our clothes, right? So napkins are a form of protection. They protect our clothes from the food that might fall on our blouse or our shirt or our, our, our dress or whatever. And so it's protection. It's a lot cheaper to deal with a napkin with a little ketchup on it than to have it on our shirt. Protection as leaders. We are protectors of our team, keeping our teams from undue and unnecessary stress or misunderstandings or outside influences that might get in their way. Their way. We as leaders not, don't want to put people in a bubble, but we do want to help them stay productive and help them stay focused, and we can protect them often from certain things. Napkins are also used to clean up, right? Uh, you've, you've been somewhere and had a little something spill on the table, and then you take your napkin and wipe it up uh, to, as a way to clean up. Napkins help us clean up, and as leaders, we must be in cleanup mode sometimes. When there's a mess, we may need to help clean it up. When there's been some sort of mistake, we may need to help. We may need to deal with an issue or deal with a challenge of some sort, and we can help clean things up like the napkin. Now, you can eat without a napkin, and you can get by with it for a bit. But nap, there's usefulness to a napkin. That's why you have them at your house. That's why you get them in a restaurant. That's why they stuff them in your bag at the fast food. Uh, because you can get by for a while, but you'll eat with less stress and be cleaner and be better protected if you use a napkin. And we can get by without a, without a leader for a little while. But let's be honest. If you have a good leader you'd think of them as being useful to help you in your work. So a good leader is like a napkin. They're useful. Um, you know, there are different kinds of napkins, right? So there are different types of napkins. There are cloth napkins and paper napkins, all different sorts of paper napkins, actually. And some of them are better in some situations than others, and that's true for leaders. You go in certain situations and you might want to have a thicker napkin than this based on what you're eating. You might want to have a cloth napkin because of what you're eating or because of where you're eating. And so in certain situations, certain kind of napkins might actually work better or be more appropriate. Same thing with leaders. As leaders, we must be willing to, to stretch and be situational in terms of what and how we lead given the situation. So Rebecca, I issued me a challenge and I have met it. Whether you like it or not, uh, all I will say, listen again, napkins like leaders are for protection. They can help clean things up. They are useful and they come in different types. And like leaders, we must be able to be situationally different based on the situation. Okay, let me close. Well, before I close, let me say this. This has been a strange sort of episode. You didn't, you didn't like wake up this morning saying, I wonder how napkins and leaders are alike. I don't want you to really leave this thinking about napkins. I want you to leave this thinking about your role as a leader. What idea did you take from today? Maybe you can be a little more protective. Maybe you can think about how you can help clean up a mess that's going on for your team right now. Maybe you can just think about the fact that as a leader, usefulness is part of your job. My challenge to you today is to take action from something that came from this, not necessarily from the napkin metaphor, as much as from the lessons that came with it. Let me close with today's tweet where I'll do the same thing right now. Hey leader, how can you protect your team from harm and stress today? Well, each week we do a Remarkable TV episode and each week I interview a leadership expert or an expert leader. We call it the Remarkable Leadership Podcast and I hope that you'll choose to join us there. All the information is right here for you so that you can join us, subscribe and listen in to my conversations with leadership 
experts on the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. And again, right here every week, I'll be back next week with another strange connection between leadership and a product next week, right here on Remarkable TV.